Hi, everybody. My name's Sydney. Uh, myself and the officers are going to go through our positions and talk a little bit about them for information. If anyone wants any additional information about any of our positions, feel free to reach out to any of us and also feel free to email or use our social media to reach out to us regarding what each of the officer roles entail. So with that, get started. So as a club, we typically have three pillars or three programs that we offer to pre-nursing students to help them succeed in pre-nursing and then eventually nursing school. We have our MOPS mentorship program, which assigns nursing students to groups of two, three, four pre-nursing students, and it's offered yearly. So the mentorship program applications usually go out in around August and September and then those nursing students will be responsible for their group of pre-nursing students for the remainder of the year through May. We also have a peer navigating program. This is essentially office hours for pre-nursing students to log into. Um, it's also kind of regarded as peer advising we just offer the opportunity for nursing students to volunteer their time to answer questions about the nursing application, given that nursing students have undergone the nursing application and been accepted into the Chico State Nursing Program and may have some insight. And then we also hope that both of those programs can provide social value and emotional support to pre-nursing students. We typically also have a pre-nursing conference this last year, we didn't have that due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, and given that everything needed to be virtual to keep everyone safe. But this pre-nursing conference is one day and it's designed for individuals. So any pre-nursing student hoping to explore the nursing profession, it allows them to sit in on sessions that may be guided by nursing instructors or nurses who are out in the field or nursing students at Chico or other routes to nursing. They usually offer a variety of sessions pertaining to getting into nursing school and what that may look like. And that typically happens in the fall. So in order to be an officer, you need to be a nursing student. You also, need to serve your officer term for the year. So in other words, you need to be able to start your position in August and to be, you need to be able to fulfill your position's job roles through May the next year. So I know some nursing students graduate in December, so it's a bummer, but we do like to have continuity in our officers. So having them available for the entire year is a requirement. Obviously, being a part of any officer role requires you to be a team player and organized. And then more specifically, but that was touched on in the slide prior, you work as an officer team to hopefully plan a conference. Um, and of course, the planning, we as an old officer team are still going to help the new officer team plan a conference if it looks like it's realistically going to happen next year with the hope that things return to in person as Chico State has said. So again, we'll see, but we'll work with the officer team in planning a conference or planning some sort of supplement for a conference with sessions and speakers and just laying out the day. We typically have monthly officer meetings, although it's more so as needed. I know in the past when the officers have planned a conference, they'll meet more frequently as the day of the conference approaches just to make sure that all the ducks are in a row. Uh, you also, well, this is more particular to the roles of the lead peer navigator and the lead mentor, but you need to be available and provide trainings to our peer navigators and our MAPS volunteers. And then of course, and hopefully as things return to what looks like more normal with in-person, you can plan more fundraisers to help support the club and the conference. Okay. 
Okay, hi everyone. So my name is Taylor. And for this academic year, I served as social media correspondent for the Chico State Nursing Club. And to kind of just summarize this role, basically what um, as social media correspondent, what you'll be doing, we'll just be managing the club website, the Chico State Nursing Club website, our Instagram page and Facebook page. And what else, um, another aspect of social media, Another platform that we have that we just started this year is our YouTube channel. So you'll be working um, directly with the president um, regarding the YouTube channel and just making sure that videos are posted and just to advertise um, videos that we post since we are mostly virtual and we are unable to meet in person. Um, another role that you'll be doing is just creating flyers and other advertisements about events or meetings that we're having and just kind of advertising those meetings and events on basically all the social media platforms that we have and just kind of spreading the word just to um, promote um, engagement and activity. And another aspect of that is just engaging with club member activity. A lot of times um, pre-nursing students will DM us on Instagram asking us just quick fire questions and just being able to be active on that and to be on deck to answer those. But yeah, for the most part, you're just going to be running the website, Instagram, Facebook page, and um, the YouTube channel as well. Hey, my name is Brooke. I was the lead peer navigator this year. Um, most of the work comes more towards the beginning of the semester when you're setting up for ap applications and training for the program before it starts the first couple weeks of school. Um, but then after that, you kind of let them all run free. This year it was on Zoom primarily, or all of it was. So setting up that and making sure it's open and available for everyone. Um, if anyone has any questions, like the peer navigators, um, they can totally reach out to you and ask questions, but yeah, that's basically it. I'm Jackson and I served as the lead mentor um, for the MAPS program uh, this past academic year. So lead mentor, um, plans, mentor application, selection and training. So. Um, for the MAPS program. So the MAPS program, as most of you probably know, is where we set up um, nursing students with, with pre-nursing students. So those pre-nursing students can have a mentor to look to uh, for any questions they may have. Um, we also brainstorm short and long range objectives and goals for the MAPS in conjunction with other officers. Managing mentors and ensuring goals are being met. Uh, developing specific mentor plans to ensure growth, both long and short term. Plan enriching MAPS meetings alongside the vice president and attend every MAPS meeting. So a lot of these things um, looked a little different this last year because um, of going virtually, but moving forward at Chico State continues to be held online. Those monthly MAPS meetings would start back up again. I'm Natalie and I served as the secretary for the club this year and so basically as secretary you just um, manage the Chico State Nursing Club email, respond to any emails regarding questions or concerns and relaying that information to the rest of the club. Um, you also keep track of the ongoing minutes for each of those officer meetings um, and any other documents you have in the club um, and then lastly you just assist the president uh, with planning the annual pre-nursing conference or any other general events, if there is going to be any, as we didn't have any this year, but that's just about the bit of the role of secretary. So my name is Brittany and I was the treasurer for this academic year and your main um, function is managing the budget and accounts which because this year we didn't have any events or anything that we were paying for, we, I didn't do nearly as much as you normally would, but you also oversee the pre-nursing conference planning, especially um, because you're keeping track of all the money and applying for conference funding and things like that, as your other officers are hoping to use money, whether it's a gift basket or pizza or 
to have a thank you gift for a speaker, all of that runs through the treasurer. So you're kind of overseeing a little bit of everything that's happening just to make sure that financially we don't go over budget. Um, but as everyone has said, my role looked very different because we didn't have in-person events or MAPS meetings to get snacks for. Um, but hopefully if we are in person next year, you'll work pretty closely with the club offices within Chico State and making sure that your fellow officers get refunds if they're the ones making purchases and things like that. Hi guys, I'm Katya and I was the VP this past year and as vice president, it's more of like an administrative role. So you oversee both the MAPS and the peer nav program, which pretty much just involves you checking in on your peer nav leader and your MAPS leader and making sure they are, if they need any help planning events, if we, again, as literally everyone has been saying the exact same thing, if we have meetings, you would help plan those and you would attend them. Um, and you're also responsible for contacting pre-nursing students, which is where most of my job came in this past year. Um, so you send out emails about events we're having, Zoom meetings, actual meetings, whatever it may be. Just make sure that gets out to pre-nursing students to get the word out. And then you're also responsible for keeping up with any changes that might occur in the pre-nursing major. So application updates, um, prerequisite changes that might come, and anything else that pre-nursing students might need to know before they apply, you're supposed to send out that information, get a hold of it, keep on top of it. And I'm Sydney. I'm sure if you've seen any of her videos, you recognize me, but I'm the president. Um, I The president essentially oversees all aspects of the club. Um, I'm essentially the main speaker representative of the club or um, any activities we are doing. Uh, I help co-run, plan general events or meetings. And of course, this last semester, it was all Zoom meetings. And then I'll also lead and delegate with the help of the other officers, our meetings, and keep um, updates going. Of course, things have looked different for our officer team this year because everything's been virtual, but we're looking forward to help aiding the new officers and helping them transition in their roles and help make decisions about how they see the future of the club for the next year, even after a couple of us graduate and move on from our roles. So if there are any questions, please feel free to reach out to us via our email, which is on our website, which I believe is just chicostatenursingclub.com. I believe it's a Google website. And you can also reach out to us in our social media, um, including Facebook and Instagram. And yeah, feel free to ask us any questions if there are any, but thank you so much for watching.